All right, this week is going to be the walk around slash van story. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, crazy story. Yeah, I'm going to start with the story, I guess. Long time ago, galaxy far, far away from these beautiful North Carolina mountains. Um, I have a friend in Michigan where I'm from. Um, one of the very first times I met him, uh, we were all uh, mutual friends of ours. We were meeting up at a, at a brewery, Shorts Brewery in Bel Air, Michigan. Um, but if you guys want to send me a case of beer for plugging you, that'd be cool with that. Um, I miss your beer. Can't get it down here. Um, I remember walking up to the brewery and seeing this van. I'm like, that thing is freaking sweet. That thing is so badass. It was like so rugged, like just like shitty interior and like bike racks all over the place. Pardon the road noise. Um, and I was like, gosh darn it, that thing is so badass. Uh, come to find out it was this guy, this mutual friend of ours, and we were meeting up at the brewery, um, chatting with him. And, you know, I don't even know what, this had to have been 2000. Nine maybe. I mean, it was well over, well over ten years ago, um, and this guy, still a very good friend of this day. Um, I, I bugged him a lot. And I I always told him I said, man, if you if you ever want to sell that van, tell me first. Like, let me know. I need to know because that that's like like this this is like my dream man. It sounds stupid. Like most people are like, oh my dream car is a sixty six Camaro or some crap. Uh not me, like I want something like this. This thing is so badass. Um so over the years we made we we became really good friends. Um hung out, rode bikes together, drank beer together, whatever. Uh, he, he's just a really good dude. And uh, um, one day, I was working nights at the time. One day, I wish I could tell you exactly what year. I don't, I don't know exactly how long ago it was, but I was barely just kind of waking up from sleeping during the day because I was working night shift. And uh, he he calls me. I'm like, what the hell is he calling me for? Like, he doesn't know I'm sleeping. It was like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I was just kind of starting to wake up. He's like, hey, man. It's like, hey, what's going on? It's like, hey, dude. Um, so do you want the van? I was like, uh, probably, yeah. What? Do you, how much do you want for it? He's like, I don't want anything for it. It's like, wait, what? Like, no way. He's like, no, I'm serious. He's like, you need to come over and drive it. Make sure you really want it. It's not perfect, which I knew, which I don't like. I don't want something perfect because I prefer built, not bought. Um, and I was like, yeah, sweet. So like that day, I like forego all of my plans, uh, drove over to his house and took it off for a drive. I was like, man, if you're serious, I will, I will absolutely take this. Like, I love this van so much. Like, everything about it, I don't care if it wasn't perfect. I don't care if it wasn't a show car. I just loved it. I loved driving it. I loved everything about it. So, th this, this guy, like I said, to this day, he's still one of my very good friends. I still consider him one of my best friends. Um... He, uh, yeah, just gave it to me. 
Like, it was crazy. Uh, I mean, oh, there goes my phone. It was a, it's a 1986 Volkswagen Vanagon Synchro with a rear locker, so one knob. Um, and it was some out of this world. Like, I'm not saying I couldn't afford to just buy one, but I didn't want, it was one of those things like, it was really hard for me to just spend money on something like that. I had a lot of other very expensive hobbies at the time. So I bought it, or I got it. I got it from him. And, um, sorry. Um, ever since then, I've just kind of like, as soon as I got it, I, I started doing work to it. Just little stuff, mechanical ball joints and whatever little stuff needed to be done. I polished it and whatnot. Um, I did a lot of trips around Michigan with it, and I was, I, I got pretty crazy. I, I traveled several hundred miles at a time with this thing, and not even thinking about it. Like, I just, my wife would be out of town or something, and I would go up to Marquette for a weekend and just, like, sleep in it. Uh, and it was great. It was awesome. I loved it. Um, and, and, uh, being a Volkswagen, ever since I was able to drive, I've been a Volkswagen guy. So it's not like it's not like I'm like oblivious to like the quality of Volkswagen. I know that their shit doesn't always work. Sorry, shoot, crap doesn't always work. Um, so yeah, uh, I mean in Michigan, my wife and I put a ton of miles on this van. We we drove it. We drove it all. Over. I mean, it was my van. I got that. I got this. I got around this thing all the time. It was trailhead, camping, whatever. Like I, I used it. Um, 2018, I think. Yeah, 2018. Aaron, my wife and I, Aaron, um, we moved down here to North Carolina, Brevard, um, and it just kind of sat. Uh, I didn't really want to put it back on the road. Um, not because I'm mechanical, but just because I really wanted to start dig into it. And um, it took some time and it took a lot of money to get what I have now. I have a very large, a decent sized garage, um, a place to work on this thing and park it and leave it for several months where it's not going to be a, a intrusion for us. Like we can still store our bikes and I can still work in here and still do projects and house projects, build cabinets or whatever. Um, so once I, we, we established our house and got our house situated, we built this garage and um, sorry, I'm looking at the mountain. They have the mountains behind me, or behind you, and it's beautiful. I love it. I love living here. Um, uh, it's pretty. It. I I've always wanted some. Uh, I've always wanted something sitting in my garage I can work on anytime I want to. Just walk walk out there and do something on, whether it's a you know car or a van. And if this is what I have, and I'm cool with, and I love it, and I love working on this thing, it's so weird. Like there's, there's old body damage. There's there's shit covered up with bondo. Like there's this stuff that uh, I'm uncovering. But that's part of the process of 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 doing something like this. I guess it's there's something something to be said about discovering. Like if you have this perfectly straight van or car or whatever like oh man it's been parked in a barn since it had 30,000 miles on it and it's only got a little bit of surface rust on it like oh great well, let's restore it yeah cool that, that's awesome like and I, I I respect that but there's something to be said that that for something that's this thing's got over 300,000 miles on it like uh there's not a doubt in my mind though odometer says 276 but I'm pretty sure the odometer has been non-functional or sort of functional for 
several years. So this thing's got a ton of miles. I mean, it's been Baja, Mexico. It's been, uh, you know, Vancouver area. It's been the uh, Pacific Northwest. It's been all over California. It's been all over Colorado. It's been all over the country. Vermont. It's, I mean, there are stickers. I, and that's the, the windows on this thing. I'm not taking the stickers off of it because it's tell, it tells a story of the van, of where it's been. Like, it's it's wonderful. Like, and I appreciate, I, 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 I'm one to appreciate that uh, the the travels of a vehicle, like what it's seen and what it's done. Um, my friend who gave me the van did a bunch of those, but he also told me stories of the crazy lady who owned it before him, who's like thought everything needed to be black, so she like spray painted all this shit inside of it, like like vinyls all spray painted black and blah blah blah. And, and uh and and I and I hate to see a car like that just go to the wayside, go to the crusher. Um I, I'm sure most Volkswagen guys or at least Vanagon guys would, would like cringe at the thought of a a tin top synchro that's pretty much original going to the crusher. And and I cringe too. I, I couldn't you know, it just makes me sick to think about that. So anyways uh, moving forward, uh, now we're, we're in, uh, in the garage and, and I'm doing, I'm not a professional by any means. I am not, I don't claim to be, I don't claim to know what I'm doing. Um, I've done stuff. I know how to stuff, make stuff look good. Um, I learn as I go. Um, I have the tools and somewhat of the knowledge to, to weld and to to patch and to do proper body work and to cut rust out and to get rid of rust. So, um, not to say not to say that I'm doing this like beautiful like Barrett Jackson or or concourse style uh, restoration. I'm not. I'm doing. I'm doing. I want to drive this thing around restoration. Like I don't want it to look like a like a pile of rust from Michigan and I and I want to be able to enjoy it I want to be able to go out and drive it and have it be my going around rig or whatever um, so yeah the long story short like I guess uh, still what are we at 13 minutes yeah so it's not short um, anyways yeah uh, th that's pretty much the story of the van um, I'm eternally grateful to this, this friend of mine. Um, uh, to this day, I, I, I think about those the, them every day. Like, um, uh, to, to entrust me with something like this. It was given to him by a friend, and and to to have him just give it to me and trust me with it. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for it. Uh, I feel very blessed to have people like that in my life. Um, yeah, so I guess the the next the next step of this process is going to be the walk around, but um, we're getting long on time, so uh, I might do the walk around in a separate video. Um, Maybe this weekend. I'll do. I'll probably do two two videos. I guess. Um, but yeah, my my whole goal of the same thing is just to make it functional, make it look decent, make it stop the stop the rust, stop the uh, the Michigan cancer, Michigan road salt that's been eating away at this thing. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's mechanically it's pretty well sorted. I'm doing, doing round headlights, if anybody's wondering. Um, I'm doing the switch over to round headlights because this the square uh, Volkswagen headlights are terrible. I don't care what kind of head, head bulbs you put in them, they're, they're trash. So, yeah, uh, I guess, yeah, that's pretty much... That's, I guess that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll do a, a walk around video and we'll go over the whole thing and let you guys see what's what I'm dealing with. 
Um, it's not this wreck. It's not terrible. It's not a wreck. It's not horrible. So I don't want people to think that I'm just like trying to bring this thing back from the crusher. It's not that bad. Um, but for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, and I, I, I admit I don't know what I'm doing, um, it's kind of daunting. I mean, I find stuff and I'm like, some bitch. Uh, and I'll call CIP and like order order another order another sorry I gotta order another panel or something or this or that so um, right now I'm struggling with the head the head the windshield I haven't I haven't pulled the windshield out yet because I'm frightened that I can't find another one so um, if anybody's watching this and you know where you can get a new windshield Please let me know. I, I know Safe Light. Like I can probably end up getting one from Safe Light, um, but I, I'd rather not. But I think I might end up having to. So uh, again, I apologize for the road noise. Um, so yeah, that's that's the story. It's way too long. I'm sorry. It's almost 17 minutes. Um, anyways, <coughs> cheers. Hope everybody has a great night. Um, I'm enjoying the beauty of North Carolina out my garage door right now. It's, I love it here. So, all right, friends. We'll see you later.